Hello passengers, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever with a brand new series. Uh, in the last series we worked on the North Atlantic, a very, very flat map uh, covering both sides of the Atlantic with a huge expanse of water uh, kind of built in there. And as you can probably see already uh, in this series, we are going to be dealing with mountains. Uh, yes, I've been out to the workshop and I've come back with the Gotthard map uh, from Gax. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, it's very tricky to do mountains in the, uh, in the custom editor because you end up with them having these odd spotty rock falls going on and they don't quite sit in there, particularly when it's trying to map fields in there as well. Uh, I'm also using the snow mod in order to give uh, mountains a snowy look at the end. And it might look a bit odd right now, but as we expand into the various towns that we've got, and there are a lot of towns on this map, in fact, there are a hell of a lot of towns on this map, um, as we expand to them, we'll do a bit of a clean up and a, a bit of a polish to make this map look rather special as we go along. So stick around. Uh, this is a, a mod loaded series, uh, so you're sure to see something to, uh, to take your fancy. Now, one of the main mods that I'm using in this series is I'm using the 4 times mod uh, for time travel. Uh, basically, what that does is it means that time will tick past slower. Uh, so we should have the Steam Age with us for, for a little while longer than we did in the, uh, in the last series. Uh, and, uh, and as such, you know, we, we should get to see a, a good number of, uh, of Steam uh, routes do their thing. Now, obviously, we're going to be, be running with flight and we'll be running with uh, road services and ships as well. But uh, but for those of you who, uh, who particularly like steam trains, you've come to the right place. Um, now, what I'm going to do to start with is I want to find uh, something to, uh, to just kind of kind of get the money going to begin with. Getting started in Transport Fever is the tricky bit. Uh, because uh, you end up sitting around for quite a while waiting for the cash to roll in. So what I'm looking for is uh, is two towns that are pretty close to one another uh, that uh, are on pretty much the same elevation. And these two these two jokers here, Burn and uh, and Locarno, uh, would appear to be my prime candidates right now. Uh, although edge of the map there. Who's, who's that? That's uh, Volan by Burn. Okay. <laughs> Close to Burn. I, uh, I think Habkern's going to have a bit of optimism if he's going to expect a, an, an eggy will. Uh, I, I am going to, just to let you know in advance, I am going to butcher the pronunciation of these uh, fine Alpen uh, uh, cities uh, and town names. So, you know, just get comfortable with that, if you don't mind. Some of them, I might do all right. Mostly, however, I won't. Um, yeah, so this is a this is a map based around uh, around the Alps, uh, and uh, you know, hence the the Alps there. See, you know, it, it kind of gives itself away. Now, what do we what do we think here? This looks promising. What have we got here? Uh, Wolfenschießen uh, against Ennetbergen. Okay. Uh, that looks that looks reasonably entertaining. I mean, the, the low hanging fruit here would be a nice little passenger zipper to just to go back and forth between these two. Um, oh, there's I mean, look at this. I mean, you can imagine as the series is panning out uh, that we're going to have some we're going to have some truly terrific routes going on here. The tricky bit actually is uh, is going to be aircraft. Uh, now, I mean, I could I could possibly smooth. I mean, up here, for example. I mean, I could I could probably smooth out a uh, an airstrip, but that's that's not going to be easy. And actually, this would look terrific if it wasn't for all these the, these bits of farmland that matted themselves in with the uh, with the mod here. Uh, right, enough hanging around. Hold on, hold on, hold on everything. Here we go. We've got uh, who we got here. We got uh, Schwiz uh, and uh, Ingenbull. Okay. Ingenbull to Schwiz uh, would seem to be a uh, a doddle as far as routes are concerned. In fact, I'm going to stick um, 
I'm going to stick a, a, a very straightforward cart route on there, I think. Uh, the other thing to bear in mind for this series is I will be running uh, both um, European and, uh, and North American, probably some Chinese, a uh, bit of Russian services in here as well, uh, without any due care and attention. I will endeavour to uh, to not mix consists up. So if it's got a uh, if it's got a North American loco on it, it will have North American coaches and wagons, probably. Um, so uh, so you know if you if you get upset by that kind of thing, you you might want to you might want to look away. Uh, I will try and and group them together where possible, but uh, I'm going to use what the stuff that I fancy, frankly. Um, uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, you brace yourselves. It's going to be eclectic. Uh, right, let's not hang around any longer. Um, uh, if you see a mod on here and you're not entirely sure what it is or what it does, uh, have a look in uh, at, uh, in the workshop for my my North Atlantic mod collection. I've stuck just about everything in that, and uh, and you'll be able to use it out of there. Now, where am I gonna? Where am I actually gonna put a? Put a chap here. I, I want to, without it having to turn around like a like a wrong un. I don't want to be spending any money at this point, bulldozing anything. Uh, you know, I'm not going to spend an eighth of my of my total budget knocking down houses. So it's going to have to be a, it's going to have to be a street stop, isn't it? But I want a street stop with a nice easy turnaround. No, we'll do it with a with a, a not so nice, difficult turnaround. That's, that's just how it's going to have to be, because I want to maximise my cash uh, rapidly. There we go. We'll do it like that. So, route one. Here we go. I'm oh, I'm never going to remember the names of these towns. Uh, right. So, from Albert Road to Stanley Road. Oh, I see. So we've got. Uh, German, Austrian, Swiss uh, town names mixed with uh, English, uh, British uh, road names. It's a it's a it's an unusual combination. That's for sure. Uh, right, line one is going from where I, I still can't remember the names of the towns. But that, that's kind of important. Uh, Ingeborg to Schwiz. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be even more. I, uh, this is we're going to. Uh, uh, this is finger bowl, uh, and uh, and then this one here is is uh, I quite like Schwiz, uh, but Swiz. There we go. Um, uh, that, uh, partly so that I don't butcher the pronunciation of real places, and therefore you know vex those who uh, who live there. Uh, so Stanley Road is where well, that's uh, okay. So this is going to be F. Uh, FNB maybe FNB for finger bolt for FGB FGB finger bolt uh, to uh, SWZ uh, commuter commuter why not uh, right splendid right first line you know we're we're barely moments in and we've got our first line up and running uh, that's pretty exciting stuff. And here's where we're going to make our, our first executive decision. We have the choice between this horse carriage here and uh, and the stagecoach. Now they both do exactly the same. Uh, the same, you know, carry the amount, the same amount. They cost the same amount to run, but the stagecoach is way more funky to look at. So we're gonna we're gonna run with them. Uh, in fact, we'll say that the stagecoach is first class and the horse carriage is second class. There we are. So we'll run them both. Oh yeah, I I know. I just don't care. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm out of control. Somebody stop me. Um, okay, right, good. There we are. We're we're rolling. Let's uh, let's watch these chaps get going. Now these aren't going to make a lot of money, so I I don't. But what? Uh, yeah, they're not going to make much cash. Um, uh, but I want to get them established so that we start to build up some demand between these two towns, because then we can later on we can replace that with trains. Uh, and the, the demand should be there already. And given that there are people walking between the two towns, demand should be immediate. Uh, right, so, uh, as I demonstrated in my original uh, How to Make a Bit of Cash uh, video tutorial, 
Um, the, the best way to make cash early on is a straightforward passenger route. Now, if you can make a, a two-way goods route, that works even better, but it's harder to find those locations immediately. And frequently you need uh, more, uh, more of a slush fund to, uh, to get going in the first place. Now, what have we got here? No, I don't, I don't think so. I think we're going to be running Locarno Burn. Uh, and you know what else? I'm not even going to change their names. I like it. Uh, am I going to price this up first? I think we all know that I'm not. Okay, right. Well, we're going to want to run out of Locarno at some point, and I quite like the idea of, of carving through the mountainside. Uh, so one of the other objectives for this series is going to be some form of mega city. I don't know where it will be yet, uh, but I will, uh, at some point, engineer a, uh, uh, a large city, uh, a very large city, uh, ideally merging multiple together. Um, and that's going to that's need a little bit of engineering on my part, but I'm, I'm, I'm relatively confident I can pull it off. Uh, right, now, we're going to run with one platform to start with, which is, you know, clearly fatal, clearly a stupid thing to do. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg later when you come to want to expand it. Uh, but, you know, needs must. In fact, if we're going to just remove it later, which is what we're talking about here. We're going to talk about moving it later on. Then what we want is rapid turnaround uh, with, uh, with potential for high earnings. So effectively, I'm going to build uh, a, uh, a station that uh, I have no intention of, uh, of keeping. And I'm also going to pay the 25 grand to knock this house down. I know, just utterly reckless on my part. There we are. Right. 90, 90 grand? Any, oh yeah, yeah, less than 90 grand. 89. In fact, let's, let's give it enough length for the short term. Given that we're only talking an extra couple of quid here, we might as well, you know, might as well sink it in. Am I missing anything? We don't need Second Street at this stage. I think we're good. Okay, well, that's us committing to rail very early on. I hope this bridge isn't too expensive. Um, that said, the bank manager has not yet been introduced to me. Uh, we will become fast friends, I am sure. Now, if I can find somewhere over here-ish, oh, this is, no, this, there are, these are all going to cost me a packet. Uh, look for somewhere relatively ramshackle. Yeah, 100 grand, I'm not interested in that. What about you? 300 grand. And, oh, no, 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 expensive, expensive is what you are. Uh, I mean, I could just pull it out over here, uh, but our catchment area is not going to be as great, and I'm also looking the wrong way. There we are, we want to be looking over there. Actually, it's not a bad place for it. Uh, this over here might be a bit better. And that then, it also saves me on track laying costs, which, you know, that's, that's not inexpensive. Okay, what are we looking at? Terrible catchment area. Terrible, 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 terrible. But if I could slot it in there. Is that on the road? It is on the road. Alright, we'll slot it in there. That's cheap. Don't miss click. Good, right. Okay, well, that's point to point going on. Now, obviously, I'll set up uh, an interior commuting service along the way. Let's keep the thing rolling along. Now, as much as that's ballast. Uh, which we have we've we've played with that before um, there was an, as much as going on there uh, what was it talking about I don't know um, yeah no I don't know the reason we're ticking along as much as I want uh, time to run a little bit slower in order that uh, that we can smell the flowers as we uh, as we develop this uh, this map um, equally I, I don't want to be hanging around and, and during the steam age, there is a lot of hanging around while you wait for, for money to roll in. Let's parallel this road down here. Okay, good. First bulldozing. Beautiful. Everybody likes the first bulldozing. And we'll just 
roll it around there for 35 grand. That's a steal, my friend. A steal is what it is. And nobody's complaining about not being able to access the lumber yard. Beautiful. Okay, here's the bit where it gets pricey, and our survey says three quarters of a million quid. Sure, we can't do that any cheaper. And it's not even a very quick bridge, that one. And it's quite it's quite a nice bridge. And it's got room for ships to get underneath. Alright. Well, we could upgrade it later, but just so that we've got an idea on the price. 1.1 million. You know what? Having a bridge here is not is not what not necessarily the best way to go. Uh, I'm gonna just price up if I can, paralleling that. Yeah, see, that's that's what I thought. If we parallel the road, we can get over there for 200 grand instead of three quarters of a million. Uh, now, that might seem counterintuitive. It's not, yeah, as well as it is. Uh, but if I saved half a million quid there, or which I did, uh, then I can use that to buy more trains. Let's take that back a little. There we are. I mean, nothing's going over six. We're in we're in kilometers at the moment. I shall transition to miles uh, for the next episode. We've the, the, my last few have all been in kilometers, so uh, so having a spin in miles for a bit won't do us any harm. There we are. Right, making use of the existing infrastructure to save some cash. Right, let's get a train or two, or well, let's get as many trains as we can afford up on here. Uh, one will do to start with though. Let's not get kind of what's this train depot buffers nice uh, Yes, I mean I've got I, I, I do have as you can probably tell mods galore going on here um, It's uh, it's simply a case of, uh, of Waiting and see what they do right. We're gonna go from Locarno, which I like the sound of so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it if I can pronounce it first time and, uh, and a hilarious uh, comedy name doesn't spring to mind, uh, the hilarious there, obviously, in inverted commas, um, then I'll, I'll stick with the existing town names. Uh, so there we go. Uh, BRN, uh, well, there you go, lock. BRN uh, Express, right? It's an express train. You know why? There are no trains faster than it. That's why it's an express train. It's also flying solo. Uh, right. Oh, we've got choices here. Uh, locos. We can go with the fake loco. Probably not. Uh, the six-wheeler Baldwin, 40 kilometers an hour. Or... Okay. All right. Okay. So, what attractive effort? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. I'm going to go with the cheap one. Uh, the, uh, the, the Spanish bread train... Uh, named after a, dem uh, a delicacy in Baden, Switzerland, which seems appropriate. Appropriate, yes, that's that's a word, uh, given that we are actually in Switzerland. Um, right, I'm going to go with one wagon. Now, the reason I'm going to go with one wagon... Oh, hello. That's too expensive. Uh, the reason I'm going to go with one is I'm going to wait until anybody's on it and then I will take it back to the depot and add another. I am not going to pay for anything I don't need at the moment. Get to work. First train, first train, first train. Oh, with the mountains in the background. Oh, oh yeah, you see, I mean, now you're, now you're talking. This is... Look at that little cute thing going on there. How can you not be delighted uh, by that as, a, as an opening gambit? That's a joy. This bloke is looking to the sky, watching for Zeppelin. Awesome. And I've still got a million quid left in the bank. Right. Uh, with that, I'm going to make these lines a success. So we need to put in some uh, some good wholesome uh, wholesome passenger pickup stuff. You know what? I haven't started a new game in this for ages. This is this is genuinely genuinely good fun. Uh, right, everything drives on the right. Okay, so we're gonna go there, and then and Locarno's flipping enormous. Uh, 
in in other news um and then we'll go there i'm gonna run two yeah, yeah i've got a i've got a i've got a caper in mind here so what this one's gonna do that right straight up straight down uh and then i want another one going over here so uh, we're going to go what straight out mm. Well, you could go. We want anything that you can do a loop. Any way you can do a loop, that might do it. What do you think? Yeah, that'll do it. Uh, maybe a little bit further there. There we go. Right, okay. So, two routes, please. Uh, right, number one is going to go from there up to here. On that. Uh, this is Locarno. Uh, Locarno. Lock. Yes, Queensway. Now that's that's a that's a naming convention I actually quite liked, uh, so I'm going to stick with it. And this one is going to be uh, from Eugene uh, to there. There we go. Uh, and that's Locarno North. Yeah, uh, Locarno North, which obviously we we've got no idea as far as compass headings are concerned, so we're not going to concern ourselves with them. There we are. That's that's my plan. I'm sticking with it. Uh, right. Do I cheap out on... No, I don't cheap out on depots. We'll build the depot and then shut it back down again afterwards so that we're not paying running costs on it. And... There. Right. Okay. Buy road vehicles. Give me... Uh, we'll do uh, two of these. Uh, you can go on the north. And then we'll do two of those. And you can go on the Queensway. Excellent. Right. Good. As soon as they've got out of there... We'll close it down. Obviously, I'll need more in the future, but my, my thinking is that it's actually going to be more cost-effective for me just to build a fresh one uh, every time I need every uh, every time I need one. Where are, you, where are you thinking there, friend? Try turning around. Let me help you. Uh, right, and then we'll do the same in burn. Then we'll figure out figure out our next exciting move. Uh, right, give me a give me a personage stop here. Now we want a personage stop with a turnaround. I don't really want to stick it in here. So in the last series, when uh, when putting in my initial services, uh, the uh, the the setup I used was that I would uh, I would try and save space for. Uh, for expansion later on. Uh, this time around, we're going to bulldoze it. We're going to use the bulldozer to, to create that space. Uh, right, what sort of coverage you got there? Pretty good. Uh, that, that was pretty extravagant, it has to be said. Uh, and we will hit up there. Nice, plenty of coverage. Or do we want to do a double on this one as well? We could do one little shorty like that and then another one that's not so short uh, about there okay right good yeah i'm confident uh right here we go line whatever number this is uh from hither to yon perfect uh this is going to be uh oh, is it burn north b and uh, no b r n north uh line two wait don't get, you can't give it a name till you know where it's going. There we are. Burn Drive. Oh, lovely. Quite, quite the evocative name. Uh, B R N Drive. Okay, splendid. Now uh, buy some vehicles. Uh, later on, when we when we get into the point that I've got you know more choices than I, I realistically know what to do with, uh, I will. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll try and pick one type of road vehicle per city, per town, so they have their, their own unique look, as it were. Uh, but for now, you lot can go on drive. Off you go. No, oh, we're not done here yet. Uh, what did I just buy? Stagecoaches. Okay, carriages. One, two. And you lot can go on north. There we are. Excellent. Everybody's rolling. I did do that right, didn't I? Yeah, drive. Good. And north. Excellent. Right. Get to work. Okay, right. Well, that's that. so far I have spent a, a, a grand total of half my budget. That's not bad. We haven't 
actually made any money yet. Well, that's a that's a thing. Um, but you know, we're uh, from uh, from the small acorns. Uh, great things will happen, and what I'm hoping is that the uh, the station at the other end there is is going to have going to have developed a passenger or two in the short time that I've been away. I'm going to I'm going to just invite it to do that by glaring at it. Come on, look, we want anybody, anybody at all, come to the station. Anybody at all, anyone, any of you guys. I mean, look, we've got building projects going on here. Uh, you know, surely, surely one of you wants to ride the Steel Snake uh, down to the beautiful city of Bern. Assuming I'm looking at Locarno, which I'm fairly... Oh, I felt certain this dude was going to give it a spin. Guess not. We are in Locarno, right? I need to start familiarising myself with these places. Yes, we are. Uh, come on. Come on, people. Is there anybody in the wagon? Or am I just paying its costs? We can see in the windows. Doesn't look like there's anybody in there. And that's because there isn't anybody in there. Oh, well, that's, that's disappointing. Uh, I can hear the train coming in. There's another wagon, too. Another wagon. New opportunity. Every, every wagon's an opportunity. Did someone sneak onto the platform while I wasn't noticing? I don't know what people's problem is. I don't, I, honestly, this is brand new technology. These days, you know, if the, if the train were introduced for the first time in this, in this modern era, you'd have fools wearing branded t-shirts queuing up three nights beforehand. Uh, one of them possibly dressed as Darth Maul for reasons best known to themselves. Uh, going, it's gonna totally revolutionize the world. I can't wait. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You, sir, Charles Patel. Uh, no, you have a new name. Bold Trail Blazer. That's his name. Um, I don't know if we'll ever see Bold Trailblazer again, uh, but there he is. He's bold. He's a trailblazer. He's waiting for the train. Uh, he, he must be... I bet he's got himself a, a Darth Maul costume under there somewhere. Uh, if we zip up to the other line, uh, the other end of the line, even. Zartar. The, the little train that can. Have we got anybody else waiting at all? Not as such, no. Uh, have we made any money yet? We have. We made 300 quid somewhere. Well, you know, that's that's the beginning of the beginning. Uh, thank you very much for watching today, friends. I, I'm going to wrap it up, wrap this part up here. Uh, I'm also going to try and cut out the dead uh, a little in this series. Uh, instead of uh, excessive pontificating on my part, uh, what we shall do instead is I will come with plan in hand. Uh, the flavours uh, of this channel that you are so very used to, uh, that you have been enjoying thus far, will not change they will instead be intensified, made all the more spicy, uh, and I hope all the more enjoyable. So uh, instead of uh, endless ponderance from me, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do something a bit quicker. If I tidied up these mountains, they would look better. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, throw a like at this one if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to ensure you don't miss out on the rest of this series. I'll be back very soon. Uh, with uh, the next cunning installment. Lovely to see you. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.